I have seen attitudes ruin the rich, and I have seen attitudes ruin the poor. I have seen a rich person who behaves better than the poor. I have seen a poor person kick himself out of something good because of his attitude. A man recently lost the opportunity to continue the building project of the house where I live. He got angry at the landlord, but his laziness and dishonesty got him kicked off the project. You probably have experienced this before. Someone comes to you to loan some money and he promises to refund it on a specific day. When that day comes, he doesn't refund the money. Also, he doesn't even talk about it afterwards, neither does he pay you later. You know what you'll do? If you're nice, you'll keep quiet and wait for the day he will as much as think to come to you to ask for money. When people fail to work on their attitude, they wonder why they are poor and are always in need of rich people's help. If you shape your attitude during this lockdown, you may increase your chances of succeeding later. Here are three attitudes you must deal with during this lockdown so they don't hold you back from succeeding afterwards. Number one, loving to do what's convenient. There's a quote making waves on social media right now. It says something like, if during this lockdown you don't come out a better person, you don't learn a new skill, you don't develop a vision for your future, you never had a time problem, you had a discipline problem. I sincerely believe this quote is true. If you don't have much more than you have now, or if you don't become much more than you are now after this lockdown, you never had a time problem. As you have always complained, you have always had a discipline problem. I have found myself the meaning of laziness. Laziness is doing what's convenient when it's convenient to the extent that it is convenient. But discipline is doing what you must do when you must do it to the extent that you must do it. Discipline does not mean you will never rest. It takes discipline also to rest. You must learn to work and rest at the same time. When I wrote the first script for this channel this morning, I exercised and rested for about 30 minutes before returning to write this one. If you must succeed, know this, you won't always do what's convenient. You won't always have a convenient time and you won't always have convenient situations to do what you must. As soon as I read that Russell Blake wrote 18 novels in one year, I set about writing one book in one month. It's not convenient, but it is a goal worth pursuing. You don't become successful by doing the convenient. You become successful by laboring on the inconvenient at convenient and inconvenient times, with convenient and inconvenient tools and situations. If you can succeed under inconvenient situations, you can succeed under any circumstance. Number two, love in your comfort zone. When I first got the job to write for a company, I was surprised when our boss told me I would be reviewing scripts. I had put in to be a writer, but I was told I would work as an editor. First, I hated editing, and it was not convenient. Second, I didn't see how I would be able to edit the number of scripts my boss required of me. Yet, as I set about doing it, I started to enjoy it. Although it was stressful for the first two weeks, Later, my responsibility was changed and I was required to write again. I have seen employees complain when their bosses make some demands of them that are not within their job description. I have seen people threaten to do below their best during this lockdown if their boss won't make some things available for them. Every time I see this, I laugh. Because every opportunity you have to do what's not within your scope of work is an opportunity to learn. Although I was the company's editor, when the boss wanted someone to design a logo and the designers were not available to do it, I offered to do it. And in the process, I soon learned to make logo intros and other video effects. You may be the best at what you do, but the best way to remain at that level is to remain in your comfort zone. For example, imagine someone who never thought there would be a lockdown. At one point, his boss tells him to do some digital marketing project for the company but he refuses because he's just the company's janitor. Now that there is a lockdown, the company doesn't need a janitor because the office is closed. But the company will need a digital marketer. What if he had gone out of his way as a janitor to learn what it takes to do digital marketing for the company then? He would still be on the company's payroll right now and even get some side jobs during this lockdown. Do you get the point? When you insist on doing only what you can do, never stretching, you continue to get only the results you can get in relations to that thing. Simple. Number three, 
setting goals, deadlines, and never meeting them. Some years ago, when I first started business, I got a project that offered so much money. There was a deadline for the project, but because I was new in business and hadn't been diligent in studying up much on the attitudes to have in business, I delayed this project. When the client asked for the project, I hadn't even started. Eventually, I did the job, I got paid, but that was the last time the client ever gave me a job. I live in a country where too many people blame their poverty on the government, the politicians, or some circumstances, but they never blame it on themselves. Yet, I look around and I laugh. Give an average artisan a project, and after paying him, he would give you all the reasons in the book about how he could not get your job done. Give some other people a job, and not only would they spend your money, but you also will not be able to reach them. People aren't poor because life isn't fair. People are often poor because of their attitudes. An employee demands a good pay raise for a job he isn't doing well, thinking his boss is stupid. If your attitude isn't good towards your business, don't be too surprised why you aren't succeeding. If you want to become who you are not, you have to do what you have never done. If you must have something, you must give up something. If you want to eat your cake, you cannot equally have the cake. If you desire to be rich, you can't treat your clients like they are on your payroll. You are on their payroll. The sacrifice you must make is making sure you do what you must at the time when you said you must. And if for any reason you can't, give a detailed explanation. Work so hard to make up for it. When you form a habit of never meeting your goals and never making your deadlines, you stifle your chances of ever succeeding. Because first, you lose credibility before your clients and you lose confidence in yourself to achieve great things. This lockdown may be your best opportunity to nail attitudes that are ruining your efforts to succeed. If you must succeed, you can't afford to do only what's convenient for you when it's convenient, to the extent that it is convenient for you. Also, you cannot afford to love your comfort zone. Taking risks will not only expose you to new things, but it will also reveal you to yourself because you realize your potentials and capability. And meeting your goals and hitting your deadlines will encourage you to achieve more and also help you build credibility in business. If you can overcome these three attitudes during this lockdown, you can be sure you'll succeed when it is over. If this video inspired you, like the video and share it with your friends. We love you.